Hi, so uh, another one from my bit on the side. Uh, and of course, Black Desert Online, which is the game I'm very much into at the moment. Now, before I begin this, I'm going to put it out there that I love this game. I have very few actual criticisms from what I've seen so far. I have only played it a week. Obviously, there's a lot more to see. However, people keep referring to this MMO as a sandbox. Um, I just passed over it in my previous video, but I actually want to scrutinise it now. So what is a sandbox and what is a theme park game? Well, a theme park game is one where you will pass from place to place by quest and you do the story in the order that the game determines. Sandbox is one where you can go where you like and do quests in whatever order you like. Now, I've played a number of MMOs, by no means all, but a number, all of which are described very clearly as theme park. I've never actually played something called a sandbox before. Um, so if we compare World of Warcraft with Black Desert Online, and people always do, <laughs> then is Black Desert Online really a sandbox at all? And were it not for the fact that a lot of YouTubers who have a lot of subscriptions, obviously know what they're talking about, play a lot of MMOs, are just really clearly calling it sandbox, not even questioning it, is what's making me question it at all. Now, I am going to caution about comparing this to a single-player RPG because there are certain limitations you actually need in an MMO that you don't need in a single-player. I had a friend a number of years ago that was mad on Morrowind. I didn't play it myself, but he'd talk about it a lot. And the way he described it was as if his character were a god, being able to leap across lands and lay waste to entire towns. Now, that's fine in a single-player game. Do what you like. But in an MMO, you would be screwing over other players. It's bad enough when people kill your quest NPCs because daddy wouldn't buy them a pony without destroying the entire town. So given that we're only comparing MMOs, what is it that makes Black Desert Online a game that every YouTuber I've seen comment on it quite happily calls it a sandbox? Well, the first thing people talk about is the no loading screens. Okay, so you can, once you've got into the game, there's a loading screen for that, it takes quite a while. Um, but it, you know, once that's out of the way, there are no loading screens. You can go from one side of the map to the other. You can go into your house without anything like that. Well, the same is true of World of Warcraft. I mean, when it first came out, you had two continents, the Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. You had a loading screen between the two continents on your ocean voyage, but not within them. So how does that make BDO a sandbox when WoW... Okay, has loading screens for dungeons, but they're instance content which BDO doesn't currently have as far as I can tell. The next feature is go where you like. This is a real key feature of Sandbox. <clears throat> but is it actually true in BDO? I would say not. Yesterday I, was, I found a really good spot to fish because the normal ones in the towns I discovered so far were... The resources were exhausted, which means that I would get fish, but a slower rate and probably not as good quality. So I found this really good spot with an abundant supply. Collected my fish, went to a trade manager, the nearest trade manager to sell them. And I wasn't getting the full market price or anything close to it. And the reason is you have to connect the nodes between where you are fishing and where you want to sell them at market. So I went to connect them. Unfortunately, I was beaten back by mobs much higher level than me. Even moving, switching to my character, my highest level character, which is not a high level character, um, there was still high level for me. And although I could tackle one at a time, I couldn't tackle grip. So I was basically beaten back from that area. So I can't go where I want. Also, you don't have to do quests at all. Um, they aren't the route to leveling in BDO. But you still have a fairly linear progression, however you play the game. If you follow the quest, you still end up going to different towns in the same order as everyone else. If you've been led by your spirit guide, the quest he gives, again, it's all been given in the same order on every character for every player. If you want to speed level with grinding areas, you're still going to do them in the same order as everyone else who's doing that. Now, in World of Warcraft's next expansion, Legion, you're going to be able to do zones in whatever order you please as the quest rewards and the mobs are going to scale to your level. In Black Desert Online, 
There are areas I can't go because the mobs will kick seven sorts of shit out of me. So, again, with WoW undoubtedly being theme park, no one would ever say, otherwise I certainly wouldn't, what is it that makes Black Desert Online sandbox? I can't go where I want. I can't do what I want. Now, sandbox has other aspects to it as well. It means that your character doesn't have too many limitations. Now, in all RPGs, doesn't matter whether single player or MMO, being able to customize your character is really important. But it is even more so in an MMO, sorry, because you want to distinguish yourself from the other players. Now, I've already mentioned in my previous video that customization options of the character selections are pretty impressive. But the fact that you are gender and to some extent age locked on classes and most definitely race locked means that you actually have less customization. There are, it's quite clear playing the game, there are a large number of sentient, intelligent races in the game. You don't have access to them too as a player. Almost all of your characters are human, with like a giant type character for the Berserker class. It's also hard to customise your style of dress. Even if you pay the, the money on the cash shop, there's an extremely limited range. In other MMOs, we all start out looking the same, but it doesn't take more than a few hours before the diverging nature of the order in which you do quests and just random drops that you'll get have us all looking different. This isn't the case in BDO. My level 22 Valkyrie looks the same as every other I come across. Different hair color, that's about it. Maybe minor facial features if you went up close with a magnifying glass. So all those things considered, I really don't know why people are calling this a sandbox. I would love to know. I'd absolutely love to know. If anyone can explain it, please say. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Uh, I didn't buy this game because, oh, it's a sandbox, or I've never played a sandbox. I absolutely love the game. I do not regret, regret buying it at all. It is going to keep me happy for a good long time for what I need it to be. For me, it's a perfect time filler second game. Um... I'm not looking forward to getting to higher level because I'm not at all a fan of non-consensual PvP at all. But that's only a minor gripe. And even if, you know, even then, I mean, the developers apparently have put in a minor penalties for people doing it. So it might not be that bad. In the meantime, I am thoroughly enjoying finding out more and more about this game without worrying that I'm hardly moving through the levels at all. This is certainly what marks it out from other MMOs that I've played. Um, but I don't really think that's what makes it sandbox. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you don't like, please comment why. And until next time, I'll see you later.